Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, or if you're new around here, hello and welcome. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So I'm actually gonna talk today all about Skiathos. Some of you that follow me or that are subscribed to this channel might think this is not really her usual content, but I wanted to make a video all about Skiathos because it's our favorite Greek island and we recently got married there. It'll be two weeks this Friday and oh my goodness it was the most incredible wedding the most incredible day of our life and Skiathos just holds an even more special place in our heart now before we got married there it was already our favorite greek island and we just absolutely loved it and it was just so special to us it was one of the first islands um in greece that me and steve went to together um, and I just love it so much and love it even more now that we've got married there. And I asked over on my Instagram if you had any questions about Skiathos or you, what you wanted to know about it. Um, so I'm going to answer some questions now and just talk a little bit about it and why we love it and all the different things about the island and what you can do there um, because it's definitely got so much more popular over the years. When me and Steve first went 10 years ago it was definitely not as busy as it is now. We weren't this time, we were so shocked at how busy it is and how much more popular it's become. Um, I'm not surprised because it's so beautiful but before 10 years ago gosh it was just not as busy and as popular as it is now. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe as well if you're new. I share lots of content on this channel about lifestyle, fashion, motherhood, travel, all sorts of different things. And if you like that, I would love you to stick around for more videos. I try to post once a week, um, but with, a mom, with being a mum of three, it's very difficult to keep up to that promise and keep consistent. There's so much stuff to do, like I try and keep up to my Instagram daily so I'm always over on my stories chatting over on there so if you want to follow me on Instagram you can do I'll always be on my stories chatting but making YouTube content is definitely a lot more difficult than just popping some Instagram stories up so it's harder to film the content when I have actual time when she's actually napping and then I've got to edit it all and put it all together and pop it up so yeah follow me on Instagram if you want to see daily content from me but I would love you to subscribe so you don't miss a video that I post over on here. So I'm going to stop waffling now and I'm going to get straight into it and get the questions up that I screenshot of everyone asking me. Thank you all so much for all of your questions. I had loads about Skiathos. So I'm going to start off with um, where did you stay because we obviously like I say we got married there we stayed in the atrium hotel which is probably about 10-15 minutes away from Skethos town the central town where everything goes on the hustle and bustle where everything's kind of a bit more lively um there's the port there and everything but we stayed at the atrium hotel this is somewhere we've never stayed before booked it on a complete whim booked the whole wedding there on a complete whim never even been to the the venue or anything we just booked it because we saw it online we was like this is so beautiful our wedding will look amazing there we've read loads of reviews about it and everyone had said how gorgeous their wedding was at atrium and how lovely the staff was and how the food was nice the area and everything was just perfect and i cannot fault it like the whole experience at the hotel was just incredible the pool was gorgeous the food was beautiful the staff was so accommodating they were just couldn't do any more for you the location is just stunning it overlooks the sea and it's just on like the cliff edge it's just so stunning um, so we will definitely be returning to the atrium hotel it's just gorgeous because we got married there we went all out and we got um, a suite room that has a private pool because I thought we'll get married we're only gonna get married once so I'm gonna book the suite room with a private pool so we had a room with a private pool and it was just so beautiful I tried to some clips of the room and the pool if I can. I didn't vlog or anything while we were there, which I kind of now am regretting and wish that I had vlogged while we were there because I normally vlog all of our holidays and at least make a day in the life on holiday video. But this time I just didn't. I just completely switched off and just had family time and it was so lovely. And I'm so glad that I did, but I'm also a little bit like, mm, sorry, I had a phone call from my husband. So I had to just get that. Um, but yeah, I totally switched off, didn't film all with that. Now I'm kind of regretting it, but I'm also happy that I just spent time, was in the moment with the kids and Steve and just fully had the best two weeks of our life in Skethos and at our wedding. Um, but yeah, the Atrium Hotel, cannot fault it. It's a very nice hotel. It's just, oh, 
it's so stunning it's just got the most beautiful like um architecture like the stonework around it and like everything is just beautiful the rooms were really clean the staff were like i say really lovely they couldn't do any more for you it was in a really good location it's a quiet location it's obviously like i said 10 15 minutes on a bus or a taxi into town and um, there is a bus that runs throughout the um from town all the way to bus stop number 26 and so this is a bus that you can get and it's like two or three euros per adult depending on where you're going to go if you're going from town to like the last bus stop it might be three or four euros but for us we were going from our hotel into town it was two euros and the bus stop's just a short walk down the hill and you can get on the bus and they come every 10 minutes every five ten minutes to the buses and they run all day from like seven in the morning till 12 at night and you can get on these buses and they take you all the way from the town to bus stop number 26 so it stops each like different beach all along the island and it's so good so affordable you can just hop on the bus you can go to different beaches you can go into town and um, so our hotel was just a short little walk down the hill and then you're at the bus stop so we're at bus stop number 16 um and yeah it was just perfect it was such a lovely location there was also a couple of restaurants around near the hotel as well and there was a supermarket as well um but it was a quieter location usually when we've been to skathos we stay in the town because we just prefer to be able to walk into town go get some food go get some drinks we just really enjoy doing that but this time we obviously stayed a little bit out but it was fine we could just hop on the bus um, if you're happy to do that then that's great and then you can also get a taxi into town which is probably about 15 euros um, but yeah we stayed at the atrium hotel and it was gorgeous so so highly recommend it I think it is just a beautiful hotel and um, if anything I would just say it's not like the most it's not like your all-inclusive hotel like in Tenerife it, it's a totally different vibe it's more of a chilled relaxed um, a bit posher a bit just nicer kind of slower calmer kind of vibes instead of like whereas if you were in Tenerife it'd be a bit more loud there'd be entertainment going on at the pool there'd be kids jumping in everywhere there weren't that many children at the hotel um but it was still just absolutely gorgeous and I cannot fault it there probably is all-inclusive hotels in Skiathos but a lot of them will be self-catering I imagine there may be the odd like all-inclusive one I haven't particularly looked someone's asked me here um is there any all-inclusive hotels um can only find half board so yeah there might not potentially be any all-inclusive hotels I'm not sure a lot of Greek hotels are just like self-catering or half board you could do half board at our hotel but we just did bed and breakfast um because there's that many places to eat out and there's and it's super affordable when you do eat out that's another question that I got asked is what's the food like um eating out is it expensive and stuff and no I would say it's really affordable to eat out um all the restaurants and the bars and stuff do great deals like on an, on a night the cocktails and stuff in the bars in the town they did happy hours from certain times and then if you were going out for a family meal it would cost us around 60 to 70 euros for us five as a family which I don't think is bad at all when we've had like a meal each we've all had like a drink um, me and Steve would have had an alcoholic drink so I think 60 70 euros isn't bad for a full family meal um and it depends as well where you want to eat some nights you could eat just um go and get a gyros um and it would be literally like if you were to all have one each your meal might be like 25 euros it just depends where you want to eat if you're gonna go sit in a nice like bit more of like a a sit down meal a bit more like serve you more and a bit posher then it would maybe be a little bit more expensive but if you were just going to have like a quick gyros and a fanta lemon then it might be a lot cheaper it just depends where you want to eat some nights we ate just like that some nights we ate that it just depends um but there's definitely affordable restaurants to eat at for families and affordable places to drink as well someone's put what is the prettiest beach and I will tell you which is our favourite beach. So our favourite beach is Accolades. I don't know if that's pronounced right. That's just how it's spelled. Accolades, Accolades. It's something like that. It's bus stop number 10. And it's our favourite beach. We just absolutely love that beach. It's just so gorgeous. It's got like a little jetty on it that the 
taxi boat will come to as well which is great because you can get a little taxi boat which takes you into Skethos town on the boat which I think that's about four euros as well and it's such a lovely experience we went on that with the kids one day um but our favorite beach is that it's just so beautiful the water's so clear really sandy beaches lots of people have also asked are the beaches pebbly and they're not there's lots of sandy beaches there probably is some pebbled ones but the majority of them are sandy beaches so they're really lovely and soft and the sea is just so clear and gorgeous Gorgeous. There is loads of beaches on the island, absolutely loads. Like I say, you can get the bus from the town to bus stop 26, which is the last stop, which is Coconaris Beach, I think that's what you pronounce it like. Um, and it's just a massive beach. It's one of the most popular beaches in Skethos. It's got loads of water spots on that beach, and that's a gorgeous beach as well. It's just very busy, is that beach? It's quite popular and busy and that's why I prefer our beach that so we really like because it's not as busy and um, just a little bit more quiet but there is loads of um, other very quiet beaches as well but we tended to just go to bus stop number 10 or the final bus stop which is 26 um, but yeah there is loads of gorgeous beaches they're all stunning and the water's just so clear someone's asked i'd love to know how you went about organizing your wedding in greece it's a goal of mine to get married in greece um so we just directly contacted the hotel when we found atrium hotel we wanted to get married there we just contacted them directly and they then put us in touch with the wedding planner and um, she's called anastasia and she'll do different weddings all across the island i'm assuming but this was the hotel that put us directly in touch with anastasia and she was incredible she was so good um, so I then dealt with her over WhatsApp and just spoke to her about what I would like for the wedding and what decorations and things like that. Um, but the hotel were great, just super simple, just we booked the wedding, that's it. Um, and then we booked the hotel then separately as well. You book your accommodation, then you book your um, the wedding, so it's all just done separately. And then I then went on Facebook and searched Skathos Weddings and there was a great group on there called Skathos Brides and there's loads of information on there about DJs, photographers, videographers, flowers, cakes, all of that stuff. Um, so then I contacted the photographer, contacted the videographer um, and booked those and also contacted the DJ. So they were the other three things that I contacted myself and booked that. And then Anastasia arranged the flowers and the cake for me. Um, and other than that, we didn't really have many decorations on the table. She did organise some eucalyptus to be on the tables when we got married. But I didn't even think about any of that because the views and the scenery and everything about the hotel was already stunning. Like we didn't need loads of table decorations. That's the beauty of like getting married abroad, I think, because it's just so much more chilled. Everyone's just so relaxed and everyone's just happy to be there in the sunshine celebrating with you. It doesn't really matter about having so many flowers everywhere and so many table decorations. I think it already looks so beautiful and pretty anyway. Um, so yeah, I just booked the wedding at the hotel booked the accommodation at the hotel directly. We then booked our flights with Jet2 and just booked them separately. Booked the photographer, booked the videographer, paid deposits for them. Um, they just did bank transfers. And then obviously when we got there, we then paid them cash, paid them euros. Um, but it's super easy. I felt like it was such an easy process. I didn't feel stressed at all. People kept saying to me like, Are you, do you feel nervous? Do you feel stressed when I got there? I said, not at all. Like it was just so stress-free the hotel were amazing they just helped me with everything that i needed and there wasn't a lot to do she then anastasia took all the paperwork when we got there i think that's probably the most the bit that panics you maybe the most because you've got to take some paperwork with you that needs doing here beforehand um but everything's just on google and your wedding planner would tell you all of that that you need to do you have to take your documents over to greece and then she will then take them to the town hall and get them all sorted out and ready for your wedding day. Someone's asked, is there many restaurants and shops much to do for the kids? There is absolutely tons of restaurants and bars, shops all over Skathos. Um, obviously in the town, like I say, it's the main busy hustle and bustle. Loads going on. There's absolutely loads of restaurants in like the old town Skathos in like the back streets. There was so many beautiful restaurants. And then also like down the main town, the new bit, there's still loads of like restaurants, bars. There's absolutely loads of bars along the front along the port and you overlook the sea and the boats it's just beautiful there's loads of little traditional shops with loads of like keepsakes in there with like all the bowls because I brought home like a salad bowl fruit bowl and it was just so stunning I had to bring it home with us 
and then they had loads of like little fridge magnets everywhere in different shops they have loads of gorgeous like clothing boutiques as well in Skethos you could literally go there with hardly anything in your suitcase and go and get your, get yourself some dresses and outfits for on an evening there was just loads of beautiful clothes um yeah plenty things to do I mean there's not loads of stuff for the children there's not, there's not a water park or anything like that but it's so child friendly, so family friendly. There's children running around everywhere. It, there was loads of families there. I think as long as children have got the sunshine, the swimming pool, the sea, there's plenty of things for them to do. There's water sports on most of the beaches. Um, it just depends how much you want to do with, like how much stuff you want for your children. I don't know what I prefer to, um, I'm not bothered about like a kids club and stuff. Uh, whereas some people want a kids club in a hotel. I don't think many of the hotels in Scathos will have children's entertainment and children's kids clubs. Um, but there's so many gorgeous beaches and the swimming pools and everything like that. And I think as long as you've got a swimming pool, I think children are very happy. Um, there's plenty of ice cream shops and things like that and toy shops. So yeah, lots to do for children still, I think. Someone's asked who we flew, flew out to Skathos with and we flew with Jet 2. There's also two that fly there. Skathos Airport is literally tiny and the runway is so small. So be prepared for a bumpy landing when you land. It's very quick and short, but it's so much fun. I absolutely love flying. I know some people will be thinking, oh my God, I don't want to do that. It's like the shortest runway, um, but it's great. And yeah, we flew with Jet 2 and also two we fly out there as well. But Jet2 have only recently started flying out there. I think it was last year they started flying out there. As like I said, it's definitely become such more of a popular island. Someone's asked if our hotel was close to a beach. Yes, literally just walk out of our hotel, down some steps, and then you are across the road and there's the beach there. You can walk down some like little like through kind of like a foresty bit to get to the beach, or you can also walk just down the hill and then around next to another hotel and there's like a straight path to the beach um but yeah super close to the super close to the beach and lots of restaurants and bars and shops and stuff near the hotel as well someone else has asked about taxis and stuff into town like i said there is a bus that runs every 10 every 5 10 minutes um both ways so it'll go one way to the end of the island one way to town and you can just hop on the bus two euros and go into town depends if you want to get a taxi or not you can get a taxi we prefer we just get on the bus we're happy to do that it's a very busy bus like lots of people are getting on it very busy at certain times um like at six o'clock at night when you're all wanting to go into town to get some food it was absolutely rammed full of people um but we're not bothered we would happily just jump on the bus instead of paying 15 euros in a taxi for two euros for adults it's free for children as well so it's great um you can get like i say you can get a taxi it's 15 20 euros into town from where we were staying just depends where you are on the island but there is plenty of taxis and the bus like i say runs every five ten minutes so it's perfect to just hop on there someone's asked if you can still stand at the end of the runway and watch the planes and yes so when you are in Skethos town you can literally walk around the port and you can walk to the end of the runway um, and watch the planes landing and taking off and they literally come over your head I, like I say the, the runway is so small so short um, so you can stand there and you can watch the planes it's really really windy um, but the planes just come down over the port over the sea and over your head and land on the landing on the runway and it's just so fun to watch and um, we did that we didn't do that this time but we did it eight years ago and we took Alpha and he absolutely loved seeing the planes landing still seeing so many questions about the food over there the food is amazing Greek food is just incredible but I found loads of different restaurants on TripAdvisor and stuff and search for different things but there's loads to choose from I can't tell you how many restaurants and bars there is there is loads there's loads of gorgeous ones like overlooking the port in the town there's also loads in the old town there's Italian there's traditional Greek food just loads of nice gorgeous food places and then also some really affordable like takeout places in the town and um, like I say you can just get gyroses from gyro I don't even know how you pronounce it gyro gyros um gyro I don't know how you pronounce it I'm gonna say it wrong probably um but yeah plenty of affordable food you can get in the town so that is the end of this video I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this and hearing about Skathos Please do let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Skethos before and what you thought of it. I'd love you to tell me so everyone can read the comments and get some more tips maybe about Skethos. Um, but 
I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.